Laura, why do we assess? Why do you assess? And do you have any conflict or any challenges kind of mixing various motivations to carry out assessment? I mean, I think my motivation has definitely changed a lot in the last three to four months. I had a few sleepless nights as we approached the summer semester about not only how are we going to assess, but what is the point? And what are we really trying to gain from this? And what I have come up with is really, I want the assessment to also be a learning experience for the students. I want them to gain from it as much as I do. And I don't want it to be just for the sake of. And so that's really where we came at our redesign from and why I decided to really drop anything that was nominally an exam because when it's a take home, you might as well do it as a more homework style assessment because it's really kind of doing the same thing as long as you're getting to some of that conceptual knowledge, really breaking down the misconceptions and and really getting the most out of their or that they can get the most out of the, the experience. So I definitely had a little bit of assessment soul searching along the way as we switched to remote, which I guess is is a good thing. Um, so yes, I have to give people grades. And yes, this is a requirement from our, our university, but I want to do it in the best possible way for the student experience. Thanks a lot. Jennifer, has your view on motivations and reasons for assess been influenced by the pandemic? I would say actually no. Um, so I love, I love past exams and assessments. And I have uh, for some time. I, I do find they're a really important focal point for learning. I agree that they're learning for the students, they're learning for us. And I, over the years, I used to spend uh, earlier in my career, I would spend a lot of time to make sure my lecture was super polished and you know that uh, you know, saying the right things in front of the class. And then, uh, but my efforts have definitely shifted in recent years, and, and the vast majority of my efforts now are designing assessments, how they're, how, what kind of questions we're going to ask, how they're well aligned, and I think that alignment is so key. So whatever I'm asking them to do, whatever I'm grading them on, has to be related to, to what I want them to get out of the course. And um, so now, I, if, if I just... And it's a, a blessing to be able to teach the same course for a number of years so that you can kind of have the baseline materials under control so you have the time to um, carefully design assessments, ask interesting questions, um, and, and think about the rubrics, how they're going to be marked, and, and make sure they're aligned with your outcomes. So I, I really find that's when this, you have everybody's attention. That's when they're all, you know, back in the days when we were in the exam hall, you see them all there for two hours working on, you know, you know important, relevant questions. And I just feel good about that. Um, so I, it's, it's true there's challenges in, in switching online and you know like academic integrity and all that and that's kind of this, this you know the dark side and, and uh, definitely difficult to deal with. Um, but putting that aside, I, I do I do love assessments and I, I think that they're just so important for for learning.